It looks like Audi, certainly Audi UK, are dropping the long life 24 months, 24,000 mile service regime. I got an email recently from my local dealership just stating that Audi themselves are now recommending that their petrol engine cars are serviced every 9,000 miles or every 12 months. And for most drivers, that is sensible. It's certainly better than these long life service schedules. Now, why do we say that? Well, the oil is taking a beating all the time. The general degradation of oil happens when we do lots of idling, lots of short trips. And for many of us, that's all we do. Our lifestyle is such that we only ever do short trips. That causes oil dilution. The fuel dribbles into the oil itself. Also, you get moisture building up inside the crankcase, and that eventually finds its way down into the oil, further degrading it. And in some cars, the oil does get quite dirty. I'm thinking particularly of diesel cars. If you've ever looked at the diesel oil shortly after it's been changed, you'll notice it's no longer oil colored. It goes very black and it can get very, very sludgy if we're not careful. And that point is just not protecting the engine. It really does bring us to this topic of how frequently should we be doing oil changes. And we've covered that topic in lots of other videos. And there isn't a takeaway answer. Some people will swear by 3000 mile intervals. Some will say 9000. Some will just leave it for the full 24 months, 24,000 miles or whatever. And there's going to be a big variation of opinion in there. Now, there is a way of telling, and that's to send our oil off for analysis. What analysis will tell us is how many particles have built up in the oil. Oil. And the particles really come from the engine. That is engine wear. It is the number one way to measure the amount of wear and tear on the engine. The analysis will also tell us the condition of the oil, the amount of fuel, the amount of water that is collected in the oil, and also the viscosity, whether it is still meeting the viscosity index that was there when the oil was first added to the engine, or whether that has degraded and the oil has become less viscous and more sludgy over time time. Now, do we have to get oil analysis done every six months or every three months? Well, we don't. We just have to establish a baseline. And that is going to depend on our engine and the way we drive it, how frequently we do short trips, for example. Once we've established that baseline and we know that our oil perhaps starts to degrade after six months and we see significant buildup of metal particles in the oil at six months, that would be the time when we need to change our oil. Generally, though, if you just want a rule of thumb, I would certainly change the oil every six to nine thousand miles on most cars. That gets you on the safe side. You're going to see very little degradation and problems at six to nine thousand miles on most engines. And in most use case scenarios, there are obviously going to be exceptions outside of that. And if you do the oil change yourself, it's going to bring the cost down significantly. We can get the oil and a filter and just do that simple job ourselves. Let me know if you've ever done that on your car, whether that's something you're thinking of doing. And thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful, boot that like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so because that helps us to get out there. And I've lined up this video and this playlist that you should find really interesting. Thanks for watching. See you in these next videos.